Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add a whole number and a mixed number. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. For example, one fourth is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator, four, nice. In the first example, we're going to add two plus three and one fourth. And there are two different ways of solving this kind of problems. Let's just start with the slow method. In this method, first we put the whole number one more time. So two plus plus. Now pay attention. Once again, we need to remember the definition of a mixed number. A mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So we can rewrite the mixed number three and one fourth as the sum of a whole number three and a proper fraction. One fourth, that's it. We rewrote the mixed number three and one fourth as the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Then we continue by adding the whole numbers and two plus three give us five. Then the plus sign and here the fraction one fourth. In this line, we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Hold on, that is the definition of a mixed number, the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So we can rewrite this expression as a mixed number. We can rewrite the sum of five and one fourth as a mixed number five and one fourth. That's it, this is the answer. Five and one fourth, piece of cake. Let's continue with the second method. Here comes the quick method. In this method, we start by adding the whole numbers and two plus three give us five. Then we add the fractions. However, we only have one fraction in this example and that fraction is one fourth, one fourth. Once again, the answer is five and one fourth. I have two more examples. We're going to solve them using the quick method. In the second example, we need to find the sum of six and five and two thirds. In the quick method, we we'll start by adding the whole numbers and six plus five give us 11, 11, that is correct. Finally, we add the fractions and we only have one fraction in this problem and that fraction is two thirds, two thirds. The final answer is 11 and two thirds. Let's move on to the last example. Here, we need to find the sum of eight and two sevenths and four. With the quick method, we we'll start by adding the whole numbers. Eight plus four give us 12. Finally, we copy the fraction and the fraction is two sevenths, two sevenths. The answer is 12 and two sevenths. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out that playlist. And here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!